Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Please see this right there. Say, Judah, all praises. When we go on over is how we get to the kingdom of heaven. Right. Read what you got real fast. I'm going to show you. How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? What you got? What you got? How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? I'm going to see you guys later on, okay? All praises. All praises. Make sure we're in the brother to get your information so we can um, make sure we uh, keep in touch with you. He said, he said, he said, forgive me enemies, uh-huh. He said, not trying to get, he said, forgive me enemies and not trying to get revenge. All right, before we go to that, what enemies are you talking about? Just to make sure like we're on the same, I'm trying to make sure I, I meet you somewhere, all right? I'm trying to make sure I meet you somewhere so what, so we can, um, so we can talk, you know what I mean? So what enemies are you talking about? Are you talking about enemies of your own brothers and sisters or enemies of another people? Of another people? All right. So, let me, let's get Matthew, uh, let's get Matthew first. Okay, Christ said that, right? But, but when Christ said it, he wasn't talking about enemies of another people. Because we have enemies that when Christ comes back, he's going to destroy them for right. us. All right? But read what you got, Matthew, uh, Matthew, yeah, you got it. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. That's the same thing you say. He said, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. When he said your enemies, it's not talking about the enemies of another nation. It's talking about the enemies of your brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel. It's, it's not talking about the so-called white man or the Chinese man or the Arab man because they still they still control us today. If, think about it. Say like me and you riding down the street in the car, right? And we get pulled over by the police. One of us might get shot. What? And you're going to turn around and say, you know what? I got to forgive them for what they've been doing to us. Now, it's not telling you to go get a gun and go shoot back because we're not going to win that way. Right. Christ is going to get the uh, end result. But that's not the enemy he's speaking of. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 4. If thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. And if thou see the ass of him that hated thee lying under his burden and wouldest forbear to help him, thou shalt surely help with him. So, well, as the nation of Israel came out of Egypt, right? God was giving us commandments. So he said, if you see your uh, neighbors, if you see your enemy, his animal going astray, you got to make sure you return it back to him. Even though you got beef with your own brother, make sure you return it back to him. Because he, he always told you, don't even hate your own brother. Let's get Leviticus 1917. Because that's what it's going into. You got to understand, like, the enemies, Christ we're talking about, is the enemy of your own brothers. Right. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. You know. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You get what I'm saying? He said, don't even hate your brother in your heart. Don't even think about it in your mind. Because once you start doing that, you already consider it as a murder. You got to think about it. How do most murders happen? It starts with what? It starts, no, it starts, it starts with beef, bro. What, is, what does it start with first? Think about it. If something happens right before that beef happens. The individual is going through something right before that beef happens. What does it start with? 
First John 3. Hold that. First John 3. It's your thought. Right. It's your thought. But you already in your mind, you already know what? You had that split thought. You're like, you know what? I can't stand him. I'm gonna do something to him. That thing, you know, you do something, then y'all beef it. And the next bro, you know what? I gotta, I gotta react back. And it's gonna keep going back and forth to what? Until one of us end up dead. Right. And you know what? It's gonna keep going back and forth. You kill one of us, I gotta kill one of y'all. And we the same people. We suffer through the same curses. We quit, we quit to kill one another, but we wanna say, I don't wanna forgive my own brother, but we wanna forgive those that have been killing both of us ever since we came to this uh to this land, right? Right. right. But read what you got. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. He said whoever hated his brother, that means whoever got that thought in his mind, you are already a murderer. Because it only takes that one thought. So when you had that one thought, think about it. How many of our brothers and sisters are down by black by black and black crime? Right. Think about it. We got more black and black crime than we are getting killed in the street by police. Right. But we don't stand up and say black lives matter towards that. I know you see that. So we live in the, we live in a condition like you know what, and we live in the, we live in the neighborhood like you know what. If you tell, what's what's gonna happen to you? Why is it that way? We live we live by street codes. Why? It shouldn't be that way. We right. should be standing up for each other, not killing one another. Right. Then get mad when somebody else kill us. Right. That's right. not hypocrisy, don't it? Right. Right. Now go back to Leviticus 19. Because you, when it said oh, we said you gotta forgive your enemies. Your, your real enemies are the nation, everybody outside the nation of Israel. Yeah. You gotta forgive your brothers. Right. Forgive your brothers and sisters who look just like you. Right. Forgive your brothers and sisters on this side because they go through the same curses as you. Right. But read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So, one way you don't hate your brother, you actually gotta correct your brother according to how? According to the Bible. Right. Alright? So we're gonna touch on it after we touch this subject. I'm gonna show you some ways that you're not living right according to God's commandments. And that's me showing what? That's me showing you true love. Right. And you know what? That's that's something you probably never even uh, heard before. That's somebody that's somebody that looks just like you, you know what, brother? You know what? I want you to make it to the kingdom of heaven. You know why? But you look just like Christ. Right. I see Christ in you when I'm looking at you. Right. You know what I mean? So that's that's an uplifting in your spirit right there. It's not, I don't see an African man when I look at you. I see an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. But read. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You see that? He said, don't avenge or bear any grudge of the children of thy people. You see thy people? You got Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, and Manasseh on down. And you, we came from the tribe of Judah. You see that? You know who else came from the tribe of Judah? Let's find out. You know why it's so important to find out our true history according to the Bible? Because we, if we find out our true history, we would not be killing each other. Right. If we find out our true history, we won't got to worry about the police setting up in our neighborhoods. Right. We, they won't have to be there. Right. We'll be an organized nation. Right. We, won't have to, we, don't, we don't need no white man to be over us. Right. We will be above them. Right. We'll be ruling over them if we were keeping God's commandments. Right. That's right. But read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord, it said it is evident. When it's evident, that means it's sugar, right? No shadow of a doubt. Read it again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Now, who is our Lord? Jesus. Right. Jesus is our Lord. Right. And my name is Hezekiah. What's your name, bro? LaVar. All right. So, read it again from the top. You came from, what, what tribe you came from? Judah. Myself as well. Watch this. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Why you don't think they want you to know that Christ came from the same tribe that we came from? Meaning what? If Christ were walking on earth today, he'd be considered as an African American. Right. Why is that? But what image of Christ of they do they push on us? A white man. Right. What he look like according to the Bible? A black man, can you prove that though? You gotta be able to prove it. Right. You gotta be able to prove everything that you're saying. And let's do it real fast for him. And we're gonna show you why that's so important. You gotta understand that. I want you, when you leave here, I want you to understand that you're above everybody outside this nation, alright? That's right. Read. 
the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must should shortly come to pass. So the revelation in the revealing. He gave this to the John to John the Revelator to show unto the servants. Right. The servants are the children of Israel. Right. That's a service according to the Bible. Right. But read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his head and his hair were white like wool, right? So what nation of people got woolly hair? Huh? You got it, baby, you got it. We do. Right. We got woolly hair. Right. Read it again from the top. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. He said his hairs are white and woolly. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Christ is a prophesy that his eye be really white. And look, his first miracle will turn the water into wine. What nation of people, you know, whenever they drink or whenever they mad, the white part of their eyes turn red. That's us. Right. There's two strikes against the image they pushed on us their slavery. But read. And his feet. Now it's going into his feet. If you didn't have socks on, I could just look at your feet. I could tell that you are a so-called black man, right? Right. Now read. And his feet like unto fine brass. They said like his feet like unto fine brass. Now it's going to his skin color. What color is brass? No. It's brown. Right. Let's figure out how, let's figure out how brown Christ was. As if they burned in a furnace. Now you take that and you burn it in a furnace, what you going to get? You're going to get black. Right. So Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Yeah, Why do you think they want you to know that? Deuteronomy 76. It's yeah. plain as day. Right. They don't want you to understand that you're the best thing to ever walk this earth. That's right. And you got to hold your head like that. All right? LeVar, you are the best thing to ever walk this earth. Right. All right, watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. When he said, Thou art a holy people, he's talking about the nation of Israel. How can we prove that? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. It's plain as, it's plain as day. And we're going to prove to you everything out of the Bible. Read. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. You know? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel, unto, who? On, unto all Israel on this side of the Jordan. Now go back to Deuteronomy 76. So when he say Thou, he's talking to the nation of Israel. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He said the Lord thy God chose us, the nation of Israel. So he chose Levi. He chose us, our, our people, to be a, a special people to himself. How special? Above all people that are by the face of the earth. And what did you say? What did you say, Levon? How special are we to God? It's a hard pill to swallow because we don't live like a home. It's kind of hard to see that because we're not in it. When you look at our condition, we're not living like it. Right. We're like that because we're not keeping God's commandments. Right. All right? Let me get Proverbs 23 and 7. It's a reason why I don't want you to know that. Because if you, if you constantly see as him as Christ, you will always see them as as being a brother. So right. you're always keeping your mind like, you know what? Even though they're my enemies, I gotta forgive them. No, 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 that's not what he's talking about. When he say forgive them, it's talking about forgive those who look just like you. That's it's right. being killed with you. Right. Forgive them. Cause we got more black on black crime in our communities. We got more Hispanic people dying in our communities than us getting killed by our own, our own oppressors. Right. But read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart. So he said, as he thinketh in his heart. The heart in, in the Bible is we're talking about your mind. Read. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you already thinking that that man is Christ, you're going to automatically think that the white man is above you. 
he gonna think that he's above you and your nation. Right. So, and if you think that's he's above you and your nation, as he kill you in the street, you know what? Even though that you know that he's your enemy, you go, you go think in your mind, I gotta forgive him. Right. No, that's not the way. We're not telling you to go beat guns and go and go shoot up or go shoot back. No, that's not the way. That's not what we're saying. Because right. let me get Romans twelve to prove that. Right. Romans twelve to prove that because that's not the way. Cause we, Christ is gonna save us from our enemy. Right. We're going to be Roman 20, uh, Luke 1, all right? 12 and 17. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 17. Recompense to no man, evil for evil. So he said, hey, pay, repay no man evil for evil. Even though we got brother dying daily, we got sisters getting shot in their house while they sleep. He said, recompense to no man evil for evil. Wait. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. He said, walk well, honestly in the sight of all men. Read. And if it be possible, as, as much lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. He said, as much as lieth within you, live peaceably with all men. He wants you, even though we have enemies, he still wants you to live peaceably with all men. Right. Either way it goes, you got to think about it. If we try to sit up, we try to go fight them physically, right? Don't they own everything? Don't they own the Walmarts? And don't you got to pay a water bill to them? They can, they can come shut down everything, so we got to learn how to live peaceably with them. Right. Hey, you see? You see how the devil trying to distract you? Don't pay that no attention. Read it again. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 18. And if it be possible, as as much life in you, live peaceably with all men. We got to live peaceably with them because they control everything right now until Christ returns. Right. That's it. We got to live peacefully, peaceably with them because they control everything right now. Right. That's it. That's why we just don't, that's why we just what? We being wise and serpent, but harmless as a dog. That's right. right. But read on. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. He said what? Avenge not yourself. He said, hey, don't go get a pistol and shoot back at the police officer. He said, don't go do that. Hey, don't go try to uh, right, go riot and blow the buildings. He said, don't right. go do that. But read. But rather give place unto wrath. He said, well, he said, rather give place unto wrath to who? For it is written, vengeance is mine. Vengeance is who? Vengeance is mine. Right. I will repay, saith the Lord. So we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.